That's right, ladies and gentlemen. After eight hard months, our 1999 F1 championship race boat is officially finished. And this is the guy she told you not to worry about. Oh, shoot, dude. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Oh, my God. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, the F1 boat is officially done. It took over eight months to repair, redesign, re-engineer, and refinish the entire boat. There's been a lot of projects that we have started and finished in between the F1 boat getting it and now. For example, I've even been able to film an entire television show from start to finish and it air from start to finish on TV while this boat was being worked on in the background. This baby has just lived in my nightmares. It's lived in my dreams and I have seen nothing but green for like the past six or seven months. And today I finally get to share it with you and I am so freaking excited. It turned out better than we could have ever imagined. One thing that the camera just doesn't do justice is just how crazy bright green this is. The camera's just unable to pick it up and uh, a lot of this work went straight to these guys right here, the nautical bros. They absolutely crushed it. And we've even got some unreal little details along the way that I can't wait to show you guys. But if you watch my channel and we do boat builds, I normally just work on them tirelessly. And then when I finally present them to you, they are start to finish. I don't wanna bore you with, hey, we got brand new tires for the trailer. Hey, in this episode, we got new dash lights. I wanted to save all the footage and put it together in one masterpiece of a video where we present this and at the end of the video, we're putting this baby on the water. We're seeing how she works. To catch you up to speed a little bit, here's how all this started. We found this boat on Facebook Marketplace. We ended up buying it. It was loud. It was loud for sure. I sat in the cockpit. About that <laughs> as soon as I smelled that race fuel, I was like, okay, it's a good decision. Yeah. I've been telling them all day it's a bad decision. <laughs> that looks crazy in the rear view, man. Oh my gosh. What have we done here? We drove it without knowing what the heck we were doing, and then we got a call from Tim Siebold, who actually is the family that makes this very boat. They invited me out to Arizona to the F1 championship to learn how to drive and see what F1 is all about. Leaving Arizona a little bit inspired, we decided it was time to tear down our boat knowing that we were gonna rebuild and make one of the most legendary F1 boats of all time. Okay, well, she is officially unwrapped. We have all the wrap down there. And uh, yeah, this side was cooked, man. This is the other side. Um, it has a lot of damage. There's a lot of cracks, a lot of destruction, a lot of like major support issues for the motor. Here's the other side. This one actually looks pretty good. This thing had a pretty fire paint job back in the day. I do love the flames. Also, it turns out we had one of the ugliest paint jobs under our original wrap. It was pretty bad. First things first, it was time to chip and sand away all the paint so we could refiberglass, reinforce, and repair the original wood and fiberglass parts. Baby, look at that. <laughs> we got the visor out. <laughs> that is hilarious, bro. Oh, boy. That could have been, bro. Yeah, next year. Next year, that's you for Halloween. This is the hood part of it, which definitely needs a lot of work. If if he would have took a butterfly at about 100 miles an hour, this thing would have been shrapnel. Let's see. Let me get in here. I think it's cracked all the way down that way, up there. That's in here. 
here. So now, yeah, the whole front side was about cooked. So now what we got to do is go back and re-fiberglass all that, fill it, yeah. strengthen it, and then sand it all back down again. Yeah. So to be honest, I'm supposed to be out filming videos for you guys and uh, the boys are supposed to be just working on the F1 boat, but I've really wanted to learn. I've never seen fiberglassing or know how to do it. And uh, I've actually learned some really cool stuff about boats in general. It's cool because you're learning too. Yeah, though. no, that's that's literally, I'm Next here. thing you know, Brandon's gonna be like, hey, I know what's wrong with it. Instead yeah. of, I don't know what's wrong with it, guys. Yeah, I'll call you guys over that. Hey guys, we need a double inverter backwards, <laughs> threaded reverse lock uh, system. It's all right though, it'll still have the drama because it'll be when he cracks something and he goes, I'm gonna have to sand fiberglass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, or I'll know what the materials cost yeah. and I destroy it. Monumental moment, guys. Woo! This is unreal, man. So the nautical bros were like, hey, Brandon, come on over. We got this baby primed and ready for paint. So they have been working tirelessly on this boat for weeks, like legitimate weeks on just debadging everything, uh, taking off all the just accessories, all the bolts, everything, as well as fixing every single crack, every single hairline fracture, all of it. And of course, all of the just uh, completely missing pieces as well. They've also fixed those. So um, this is a really, really big moment. And I'm not gonna lie, seeing this boat all gray like this, even though this is just the primer, so you know it looks a little spotty in places, Battleship Gray is absolutely sick on this boat. Once the boat was primed, it was time to go to its first stage of paint. We hadn't really landed on a wrap concept yet, so we decided doing a flat black paint job would probably be the safest bet and also look pretty badass. And then is where we hit our very first major speed bump in the whole thing. We took the F1 boat, painted and prepped, completely stripped down, ready for wrap, and it just sat at a wrap shop outside for months. And that really slowed down our entire process, just kind of killed the whole vibe, and I went and picked it up. But luckily I found a local wrap shop near me, it's called Florida Wrap Pros. We dropped off the F1 boat with them, and they absolutely crushed the concept of the wrap. It was better than anything we could imagine. They were super creative, they were super helpful, and well, they're also really good at their job. Nautical bros, doing nautical bros stuff working, <laughs> but I want to show you guys the F1 boat. Let's go I see get this your thing. reaction. Let's go see it. I want to get your reaction. Uh, Don't just die. look downwards. Look all downwards right, and right. just kind of, you know, navigate through the shop downwards. Just keep coming this way. Just kind of keep keep looking downwards, we're, you know. We're looking at your shoes. But I want to look. My peripheral C is a beautiful color and I want to look. <laughs> Can I look now? Yeah, y'all go ahead. Oh, <laughs> bro! You like bro. it? Dirty. It's crazy, right? Dirty. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah, dude. Whoa. Dude, they effing crushed I it, know. dude. I know, dude. I know. Um, dude. It's absurd, right? What do you think, Corey? I think you officially have the most badass looking <laughs> F1 boat ever made. I agree, made. dude. I agree, man. I agree. And they oh, dude. I wasn't oh, sure. Dude. I wasn't sure, but they, they went hard on it. It looks good, man. I was a little concerned. I was wondering, man. I was like, dude, I love the I love the retro look on it, 
but we got to we we got to make it match. Yeah, dude. And they did it. It's so gangster now. Oh my god. It's so gangster now. Hey, bro. They left your bullet hole stickers. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> they left the bullet holes in there. Dude, Yo, you guys like that? Dude, that yeah. is that is dude. That is so. Yeah, man. Sick. That came, it came out. out good. We really wanted to make sure that, dude, bro. Wow. Speechless on how sick this thing looks. Yeah. I mean. Couldn't have done it without you guys, man. Hey, you know, <laughs> we couldn't have done it if you wouldn't have got it. <laughs> when when Dude. when when we went to have a suit and you were looking at all the boats, you were like, that green one. That green and black one. Yep. You, will you sell that boat? I want it. Yeah, I know. I know. Now yours is cooler. I know, man. <laughs> this one's gonna be hard to beat, bro. And it just looks insane on camera, bro. bro. It looks insane. Oh my like all of the tiny details man and th they did these uh these for us too but yeah <laughs> she turned hard. out she turned out sick man they they had stuff in here in the raft that i never even noticed before like the gs inside the like the clutch i never knew that was in this actual raft until they blew it up on the video for the houseboat yeah i was scrolling through looking at the comments and then i seen the one where someone was like oh looks like Brandon got another project that he's not going to finish. <laughs> and yeah. I messaged, I said, we're just hold on. on. <laughs> There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Just wait. There yeah. is awesomeness coming. <laughs> it's because I buy 10 things and we, we're doing all 10 projects like simultaneously, dude. Eventually, we will have all of the projects done. Eventually. But right now, this is a huge step, dude. That is... That angle is nasty, isn't it, BJ? Now that the boat's been reinforced and rewrapped, it was time to take out the old guts, replace everything, and make it better and more useful than it ever was before. And also, we bought an absolute ton of new parts. Like absurd. <laughs> all right, so this is our before. This is all cracked, gross. I mean, there's one carbon fiber strip because race, race boat, Corey, I mean, you know, we've got our, uh, well, this is still kind of looks solid, but we're going to change all that. And uh, who knows what this, I feel like it's missing race car parts. We're going to replace all this stuff. You guys can notice all this is just terrible looking. So this is going to look so much better here soon. And uh, this is our fail safe system. But Corey pointed out something pretty brilliant. Also, look at the DN and fuel, just in case you forget what wire mess you're <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not like it's confusing or anything already. So thank God they wrote this is DN and then that's pointed at some conglomerate of wires and this is pointed at some conglomerate of wires. So totally understandable. The best part is our uh, batteries are actually, would you, would you say they were cool? They're from Power Wheel. What the? We got some Power Wheel batteries, literally like the little kids Jeep Power Wheels. That's what they had in here. And the best part is there used to be a fire extinguisher right here, but in case of a fire, you had to unscrew this. And I think your fire would be like, you know, your gas tank and thank God they put it right next to it and you'd have to, yeah. we're gonna put a fire extinguisher somewhere else. And most likely if this boat does catch on fire, we're just gonna swim away and let the water do its thing. Air control, Maverick over. Time to do a little bit of removing of these scrubby dogs. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's electric, brother. Oh my gosh. It's gonna look good. So this is some padding. Is this for our cockpit? That's for the cockpit. So when your head goes slapping around like a jelly bean on a spring, this will keep you from rocking your melon. It's gonna be going inside the cockpit here. It's gonna line the whole area. If you guys remember, originally it was blue. Well, I mean, the whole boat was blue, but they had like a blue pool noodle, pool noodle foam. They had uh, basically like pool noodles. It was that foam, but in sheets. Dash Final panel. Touch. That's it, dash panel. Um, that thing's gonna be awesome. You're gonna have the Garmin unit that's inlaid into the dash. He'll have his custom uh, carbon fiber RPM gauge, water gauge, and then our jet fighter push start button. My favorite thing, the aviation switches with the LEDs in them. Nice. So that'll be up for our fuel and prime and everything. It's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be a sick dashboard.
That's money. That's money. We got these things custom built just for this. Uh, open and I don't know if they're going to look as awesome as I wanted them to, but we will see. All right. Oh, let me see it. Let me nah, see it. That's, that's gangster. Oh, yeah. Sweet. And that's with the race rim. So let's see. Let's see it in there. Oh, it was so small and cute. Look how cute that is. Look at that. That's so cute. That's it. All right. No, that's, uh, that's nasty. Oh, yeah. That's nasty. So, new dash. Looks a lot better than the old one. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So the old one looked like this. That's that's you. And this is the guy she told you not to worry about. <laughs> Dude, nice upgrade. Let's get that thing in there. Yep, yep. Batteries, fuel tank, some other stuff. Whips on. It's almost two o'clock in the morning again. Tired. Is it really? Yeah. For our decking material we're cutting back here. We got it done. We just do it on a CNC to cut out a cardboard template to see if it'll fit or not first. There we go. We're adding a bunch of accessories. Now we'll be able to charge directly off the side of the boat, charge our lithiums, charge our main batteries which has been our biggest problem since I had power wheel batteries in it. I mean, we got about maybe five starts and then you were done for the day. So I like quadrupled his power. So he can he can start up and- Way up more power. Many times. We got a lot more power. Those are gonna be our starting batteries. We're putting a big old 100 amp lithium back here. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna run into power problems this time. Nah, it was aggravating, man, because we'd be having a good day. We're like, yeah, we're awesome. It's out here. That you're g -g 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 -g. But I'm excited about it. It's gonna be super awesome. Nothing sells me more though when that motor fires up. When that motor fires up, it like it gives you the heebie-jeebies, and all your inner manism is like, yes, power. Right here is the capsule of the boat, and it's been completely gutted, and we're about to officially pour a foam forming seat. So this seat will foam form around my body, we'll trim it up, but this is an actual race seat. This is how the racers do it, and uh, this seat will be custom fit to my body, which is really cool. But I wanna go ahead and show you guys it before. There's nothing in here right now. So this is where the seat goes here. And then you have all the steering mechanisms. You have the harnesses, they go back here. But she's empty right now. So I'm gonna sit down there, we're gonna pour foam around. It's gonna go around my body. And then you're gonna be ready to pour that port. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna scooch up against the back of it. Oh wow, I can see how it's gonna wrap around me. Corey, this is not a position I thought we would ever be in. <laughs> Here we are. This is my favorite part. The boys the boys have gotten a lot of work done. And they're like, Brandon, we're ready to pour the seats. So you gotta come back. You guys know I've been traveling a lot, but came back specifically for this. So you gotta have a nice molded seat to my body so I can conform in this cockpit. Every inch matters in this because there's not a lot of room, so. Please make sure you don't pour this down my shirt. That's why I said I need help. Yeah, here. please do not pour this down my damn shirt. It may happen. We'll try not to. Oh my God. Oh shoot, dude. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Oh my gosh, dude. It's gonna get warm on you. Oh, it's expanding around my body. Got it? Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, I can feel it's like gonna be arch support. Look at it, you can see it going beside you. It's not really on this side though. All right, then lift we'll up. Lift up some, let it up. Just however, even if you got to just yep. sit up and then sit back okay. down. Right. You ready? This is hot. Yeah, oh, it's gonna get hot. Oh, I'm like in a little sauna right now. I should have done this in like shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Take this guy out. Yep. BJ. Got that? I'm gonna step up this way. I got it. Oh wow, look at that. 
I mean, dude, it definitely. Can I pull it out? Uh, yeah. Pull it out? Dude, that's that's a freaking seat if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Look at that, dude. So this is what we were talking about. It started to go up on my side and we were trying to push it down to move some more material over here. But I mean, look how fitted it is for the cockpit. Yeah. So this is just our mold. We're gonna work for here, from here. And I think we're gonna get one more kit. We'll place this one in the back of the cockpit now that it is like, this is molded for the cockpit 100%. And then we'll run another layer on top of this. And that will be the one that conforms over to my body. This is our first time doing this. So we're all kind of learning here. Either way, freaking awesome. And everything happened fast. What I will do next time is wear shorts and flip flops because it got hot in there. This foam expanding and reacting was warm, son. Dang, dude. This is awesome. Okay, so what you guys don't know, when we originally were doing the F1 bow, we were gonna do a jet fighter pilot uh, wrap. And it was gonna be like gray or desert storm, but we we're gonna do like this blaze orange on the tips. But then I got to talking to Guggen. We switched up the whole scheme, and I think it's way better now. Yeah. I think yeah. we can all agree, but we had everything in orange. <laughs> so <laughs> if you guys have an F1 boat, you need orange parts. We, we can build a whole boat. So <laughs> when you get the second one, we can do that one, yeah. the fighter jet, and You're the orange, right. we already got a bunch of You're the right. stuff for. It. So Corey just showed me the brand new harness, the five point harness we're gonna have. It's in that Guggen green and black, which is awesome because the last one we just had was orange. So. Basically, we have enough to build two F1 boats now. And yes, we'll be selling our other parts. They're all gonna be orange. Though. So this was our regular windshield right here. And uh, I mean, she's dusty, but remember she was all cracked. I don't know if you guys know this, but she was all cracked and she had like a, a big crack here. This is the side that's completely cracked through. But either way, like my favorite thing about the F1, the reason I actually bought it, there's a lot of speed boats out there, but the capsule was my favorite part. And this is the glass that covers it. And uh, we had to replace it, but our buddy, Tim Siebel, the Siebel family, they make our boat. Well, they actually made us a new visor. So this is the new one we got right here. You're not gonna believe how much this costs. All right, we've officially laid everything out that we're gonna be putting on this boat for the next few weeks. There's been a lot of work up to this point, but we're finally ready to go ahead and start bolting new stuff on. We literally have everything. We have spark plugs, we've got mesh, whatever that is. We even have safety pull pins. We have five point harnesses. We have bilge pumps, which you really don't need for these boats, but we have a lot of secret special plans that we're gonna be doing. And just, I mean, everything. We have replacement trim buttons for the steering wheel, steering wheel assembly systems, foam gel injected seats, windshields, components, side mirrors, electric pumps, we have wires. Quick as I can tell you about the sponsor of today's video. As you guys know, we couldn't make the content that we do on this scale without having sponsors on this channel. So big thanks to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. NFL fans, this season is starting to heat up with big plays and even bigger wins. This video is sponsored by DraftKings Sportbook, an official partner of the NFL, and I'm here to share an exciting new offer for you. Right now, new customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and sign up using my promo code JIGGIN. Yeah, you heard that right. New customers bet just $5 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Whether you're a Saturday college football fan or a diehard for the NFL, DraftKings has betting options for you. DraftKings customers can also get skin in the game with same game parlays, combine multiple bets from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. If you're already signed up for DraftKings like me, you can get a no sweat bet each game day through September. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code JIGGIN, bet just five on any wager and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code JIGGIN only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video. Being that the F1 boat project took over eight months, it's impossible to show you all of the hard work and labor that went into this boat. There's so much. Every single inch of this boat was touched. It was definitely sanded. You could ask the nautical bros that. 
every single inch of this was sanded but seriously there was so much time and thought that went into this and there's no way I can encapsulate it in this video so what I decided to do is pick a couple of projects along the way that I thought were more entertaining to share with you guys and I hope you really enjoy the way we laid this out but now something that I'm sure you all have been waiting for we're gonna go ahead and do a full in-depth review on the F1 boat and show you all of the work that went into it and all of the special little features that make this F boat one of a kind. First things first, I can't stress it enough, the wrap on the F1 boat is absolutely insane. And of course, the wrap was sponsored by Guggen. That's why it's an entire Guggen wrap. You guys know I'm affiliated with Guggen, but uh, we have GuggenSquad.com on the side and then also, we got pterodactyls. We legitimately have pterodactyls flying. <laughs> also, my code Jiggin on the side of the boat to remind you guys, you can save 10% off your entire order at GuggenSquad.com. They were nice enough to uh, sponsor the wrap, which is awesome. And I think the colors just turned out sick. We did end up changing the number from uh, 81 originally to number 69. Only because these boats are known to flip. So if we flip, you'll still know what number we are. But that's totally the reason why we, why we did that. Moving on. Another really special part of the wrap is this emblem right here. The Built by Nautical Bros and Jiggin collaboration sticker and it is serialized as number three. Every project the Nautical Bros and I complete and finish together, we actually custom serialize it, uh, which is gonna play a role in the future, you'll see. Coast Guard boat is number one. We have a secret for number two. And then number three is the F1 boat. By the way, we have up to six serial items that you guys just don't even know about yet. So there's a lot coming down the pipeline. But with any race vessel, safety is important. So we've got this custom wrapped, super sick helmet as well. I'm not gonna lie, this is a helmet off my sport bike. It's probably not an F1 racing helmet, but it looks pretty sick. So we'll keep it for now. Next up, one of my personal favorites, inside the cockpit. Woo! So first things first, we've got our five point harness right here. That's gonna keep us nice and safe inside the cockpit. Then we have our custom steering wheel, which by the way is a quick release so you can get in and out of the cockpit easier, which then shows us the beautiful carbon fiber dash. The freaking thing is push to start. And by the way, all of those switches as well as the push to start and gauges all light up. It's a fully illuminated cluster and it's absolutely sick. By the way, I do have a Garmin in there so I can check my speed, which is what I've been using it for. But if we do happen to do races on new bodies of water, I can actually set waypoints of where the buoys are to know where to turn on the race course. It's absolutely insane. We've got a custom built nasty unit of a Merc on here. This thing absolutely rips and uh, it's all been hand filed down to just be the thinnest skeg possible to allow little water resistance and maximum speed. There's no real way to do that by yourself, so I had Trav and, and Reef help. All right, well that looks weird, doesn't it? <laughs> So all of this was an absolute cluster. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was so bad. It looks so much better now. The boys really did a great job of cleaning it up back here. I mean, we even have fire extinguishers, which <laughs> surprised that didn't exist on uh, the first version of this boat. <laughs> Every single wire in this boat has been completely replaced. Originally we had two tiny little batteries. Now we've got these big deep cell batteries to start that motor. The race world guys use tiny little batteries because they're super light. The lighter you are, the faster you are. Well, for us, we make YouTube videos. So we're not trying to save 10 pounds in batteries. We're trying to be able to start that motor 10 or 15 times in between filming. So we needed some big deep cell batteries to be able to come out here, film YouTube videos and make entertainment for you guys. And well, I think we're the first F1 boat with dual deep cycle batteries in it for sure. We cleaned out and used the original fuel tank that's in there, but then we installed this guy, which is a massive lithium battery. Now that battery only weighs around seven pounds and will run all of the electronics on this boat at full blast for like four days. It's absolutely ridiculous, super expensive battery, but it's because we put a lot of fun items on this boat 
like nighttime lights. Boats look sick. Jet ski and the F1 boat, pretty sick. Now we just gotta get the jig and jet, same color. Just that, the whole fleet matching. I think that would be sick, but this is awesome. And we also added bilge pumps to both wings of the boats, as well as the back deck here. These boats naturally take on a lot of water, and this little duct drain right here is made to drain the boat when you're driving fast. But as you guys know, we make YouTube videos where we might have to sit and talk or repair something and uh, well the boat will just sink so we have put bilge pumps on it which i think is also a first in the f1 boat world again those guys don't put a lot of extra stuff on their boats because they want them light and they want them fast a lot of work has went into this boat up to this point but now it's time to put her to the ultimate test and get her on the water see if she floats see if she runs but more importantly see how quick this f1 boat truly is it's happening boys I smell racing fuel. That's I Smells delightful, dude. Power is on. Main power is on to me. Garmin's turning on. Number two, fuel is on. I hear that baby screaming. <laughs> Go ahead and turn your kill switch on. Three kill switches on. That is prime is open. Racing motor, so it wants a lot of fuel. So you gotta keep revving it so it doesn't die. We also gotta warm it up, or else we can blow the heads. <laughs> All right, kill switch. Hit. Kill switch works every time. Thank God. She sounds so happy, dude. Right here are my trim switches, which make the motor go this way. The higher the motor goes, the faster. This switch, the yellow one, is the dangerous one. The motor can go vertical, so just the prop is in the water. That is how this thing takes flight and can do a backflip. So I need to be really careful with this. Yellow is down. If I'm not pressing yellow and I press a different one, it comes up out of the water and that's where things can get hairy. So I do have three triggers on this that actively act as my speed and control of the boat. It's kind of weird. There's a gas pedal, but you really control the speed with the trim. This is where things get a little scary, putting on the harness, because you have to get out of this harness. Worst case scenario. And I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but there's not a lot of room to move around in here. So big shoulders, kind of like a death trap in this thing. These are a little bit small, but these are glow sticks. We learned this from racing with our buddy Clyde in every race we uh or every time we ride the boat we replace the glow sticks on basically the pool points of things that are going to save your life so the uh hatches on the doors then the hatch on the harness stuff like that so just look for the glowing objects if you're upside down in the water you don't have goggles so things glow and makes your life a lot easier take that back Okay. All right, I'm in here. All right. Bring her in, BJ. All right. All right. Woo! Right, ease forward. Fuel pump. Kill switch.
Hey, she's eating today, brother. Yeah, dude. These guys here, power, fuel, everything. All right, I'm off on my end. Boy, what? That was insane. Let me cut these GoPros. Wow, dude. What a amazing test run, first of all. Second of all, this thing is terrifyingly fast, dude. Also, I want to point out something very funny. I actually... <laughs> I want to point out something very funny. I uh, well, I got it on my arm. I'll explain it to the boys later. But there's a big cleanup duty we got to do inside the cockpit. <laughs> Sorry, boys. There's a lot of cleanup we got to do inside the cockpit. It's not what you would think. Did you yak him? I didn't throw up. I didn't throw up. I, it's no bodily fluids, but it is funny. So I mean, she's sick. She's got the bilge pumps now. So you remember all this would freaking flood and go underwater. So she's floating good and uh she looks awesome man the dash is insane you guys crushed it on the dash dude Thank you, dash looks so good hey, hey you're ripping it i was ripping it yeah it is terrifying when that thing is coming full force at you if you want to know what it's like to be in war and have a fighter jet coming at you come sit out here yeah no, I can imagine it's like super intimidating looking. I I felt like the jumps this time on the way, but it felt comfortable for some reason. I don't know if it was the helmet or what, but it felt good. So I was like, all right, like, let's go. I think we got her up to like 85. So mind you, this boat will go faster than that. I never even trimmed the motor up this way vertical. I only trimmed it out uh, to where that's how I gained my speed. So yeah, there, she's got a lot left. Hey Brandon, you want to loop up here? We'll turn around. And I'll race you to the other side. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna get smoked. <laughs> you're gonna get smoked. I mean, that's supercharged. Don't get me wrong. That thing's that that ski is supercharged and fast, but it tops out at 70. We're pushing 80 plus miles an hour. I'll so jump, I'll jump the gun. it's a short lake, so we'll see. But all right. <laughs> so it looks like uh, Corey wants to race <laughs> from the back pond to the end of the lake. So we're going to have BJ on the comms giving us a 3-2-1. I got to get this bad girl started up, head over to the starting point, and then give her the beans. I'm going to try to be a supercharged jet ski. This boat is faster top speed for sure, but what I'm not sure is if it's quicker off the line than that jet ski. That thing is fast. It's really fast, but she tops out at 70. I was pushing 85. So we'll see. So right now the boys are heading back to the small pond. They're going to come out there. They're waiting on me to give them the three, two, one. I think they're turning around. All right, here we go.
<laughs> dude, I chased you down! I know, I was getting it. Yeah, that was so sick! That was, bro, your front was lit. I know, I know. Hey, I give you credit though, you never lifted off, I, backed off. I, I, I feathered her a little to get her front back down and then I just kept going, dude. And when I punched it off the line, the ski came completely airborne. Woo. That, that was sick. That was sick looking right there. And I was like, uh oh. And then Brandon started catching him. He's like, yeah. see you on the big well, I end. I saw you got the jump. You got the jump. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely insane. I cannot believe I chased Corey down. We got the cap open now. Just going to go ahead and drive her on in. The boys are going to catch me. But this is unreal, man. What a just. This was a whole experience. Just so freaking happy, dude. It just doesn't even feel real. But uh, we got her running. We got her ripping. She sounds so mean, dude. So mean. The boys worked really hard on this, man. Like seven or eight months of hard work and it paid off. This is so incredible. I'm so grateful for the Nautical Bros. I couldn't do stuff like this by myself, man. You need a badass team and the Nautical Bros are a badass team. So you guys, uh, make sure to show them some love in the comments. on the turn because I was at 70 and you were gaining. <laughs> Dude, bump, just keep going. That was incredible. Very happy day. Very, very happy day today. The F1 boat. She freaking works. But I gotta say the best thing of the day, the testing went phenomenal. Yeah. There's a, there's a couple little things, right? I mean oh yeah. They rebuilt the entire thing. So of course there's a couple cords where I'm like, hey, this is kind of in the way or whatever, and we'll adjust those in the future. Today was getting the motor started, ripping her and just testing her out. I didn't think I was gonna start racing today, dude. <laughs> that jet ski is fast, man. And you got the jump on me because I heard three, two, one, and I saw you, I wanted you to get beside me, but then you jumped. So I, I was like, all right. I jumped. I heard one and I just I hammered the whole the whole jet ski came out the water. I saw you. No, that that was what was cool. Is the first race I couldn't really see Corey, and I don't really have good viz uh, in the cockpit, and I know the cameras can't really pick up anything. But when I was behind you and you were in front, I could see you, and I know that thing goes zero to seventy in literally probably three seconds or so on the water, which is yeah. absurd. But then. I started walking them down and I started looking down at my gauges. I was doing 85 and I just passed Corey and I just saw, I just saw him like, oh, it was so you, sick. You got dude. me, bro. Like I looked back and I was like, all right, I got the jump on him. Yeah. I laid down. I was trying to use my ball. You got aerodynamic, guys. I was aerodynamic. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. And then I was like, Rear um, wings were actually full of water. It had some water. A little bit of weight makes a huge difference on this boat. So they had some water. It's what you can hear draining right now while the bilge pumps were running. So I was a little butt heavy on the boat. And so when I gunned it, she, she wants to rise anyway. She's like a big kite, right? These forks, man, they'll grab air, throw it under the whole thing, and you'll literally do a backflip. You can look up YouTube videos of it, just not on my channel because they don't exist. <laughs> but... I was midway through the lake chasing Corey down. I started to rise a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. I feathered the throttle down just a hair, got her flat, and just passed him. It was insane, dude. It was insane. That I, was that was sick. I got scared for you for a second because you were prop. I you were prop only. I know. I know. I I was pushing her. I probably shouldn't have pushed her that hard on the first test, but she held true. I stayed behind the wheel, and boys. We won our first race. Finally, we won a race, god damn! <laughs> now, it was just like a little, you know, 
little back backyard pond race in action, but uh, hey man, I got a win under my belt and that feels like a fat W to me. <laughs> Brother, this right here is the testament of long nights, hard work, everything going wrong to make everything right. And and a couple battles between me yeah. and Corey. Oh yeah, they, they almost <laughs> broke up like five times. <laughs> it, for Sparta. <laughs> so, hey man, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Baby. Thank you guys so it much. It was man. awesome, man. I appreciate it. Uh, group effort, but mostly the group was the Nautical Bros. They spent, I mean, Corey showed me a time lapse of the F1 boat being in his garage for, I think it was like six month time lapse, which is insane. And it's in the shop, out the shop, in the shop, out the shop. Guys, it's like, it was like an army of ants were crawling all over this thing. And it was two guys in there day in, day out. And uh, this is only the start of some of the big projects. This one's been behind the scenes for a long time, but just bet your best dollar that anything you haven't seen in a while is coming back bigger, better. Yeah. And hopefully not as green. We, we got a lot of green going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I know we haven't been able to put out any videos lately because everything we've been working on has been secret projects that we've had to keep under wraps for a while. So we apologize for that. But we got some special stuff coming to you guys. Woo! Nautical Bros channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure to show them love. Literally the only reason why videos like this happen, Coast Guard boat videos, houseboat videos, F1 boat videos, drag boat videos, shall I keep going? It's all because the Nautical Bros have become the backbone of doing cool shit on this channel. I'm going to be completely honest with you. So make sure to show them some love. If you see what they're doing on my channel, just imagine what they're doing on their own channel with their own editing. I mean, it's probably going to get pretty, pretty wild. It'll be linked in the description below, of course. Yeah, once you find that pivot point, you're you're good. The thing is, like, how do you get down? Oh no! How we got bears? We got wings. We got race boats. And uh, thanks to our new buddy Josh, we got a fridge full of beer. <laughs> he brought us fridge. Most people bring coolers. He just brought us whole fridge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's race night, baby. America. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's strong as crap. Give me that rack back. Give me a, don't yank my arm off. Give me that rack back. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, boys, we're in trouble now. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I'm going to be riding in this thing today. <laughs> yeah. Unreal, guys. We did it, boys. We did it. Anyway, we, did it. we anyway got to the racing, which is why we're in Arizona. <laughs> we went to the Hoover Dam. We're sightseeing. We went to the Grand Canyon. Tour. It's amazing. We're bro. on the family tour. I know, right? <laughs> we haven't. We're not even filming for the videos. We're just like sightseeing right now. Uncle it's Dad amazing. Was like, Let's go to the Hoover Dam. Yeah, Let's they've been calling it. me Uncle Dad Brandon because they haven't seen any of this. So it's like I'm I'm their dad taking them on a trip. <laughs> it's our first family vacation, guys. <laughs> First family vacation. <laughs>